Hello, my sweet, beautiful friends. Today's video, I am sharing with you some of my outfit ideas for this week. My husband has one week off. We were supposed to spend this time in Delaware at a fishing competition known as like the Flounder Pounder, I believe it's called. But unfortunately, with the circumstances around the world, we cannot do that. It was canceled once again this year, but that's okay. We are gonna take um, a little vacation with just our family. Um, we're only about 45 minutes from the beach, so we'll drive down probably a couple times this week to go, or we might stay at my grandparents to go to the beach, to go on the boat, to go fishing, just little things like that. Just a very beach inspired uh, little mini vacation, nothing big, we're not leaving our state or anything. So I thought I would share with you some of my outfit ideas, just in case you were taking maybe a last minute spur of the moment trip, if you had something planned, an end of the summer vacation with your family, whatever it may be, I thought these outfits would be something that can inspire you. Some of these things are thrifted that you might not be able to find the exact same thing, but maybe you have something in your closet that's similar and you thought, huh, maybe I can pull that out for a vacation idea, or you can find something very similar. A lot of my clothes I love to thrift. Um, I love to find bargain things. I don't just always buy department store clothes. Thrifting is one of my favorite things. And I thought I would share with you some of my vacation outfits that I'm gonna be wearing this week. So if you're interested in seeing, definitely come along, but don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my fashion related videos because I love sharing plus size ideas for women out there or men, whoever this might pertain to, whatever you like to wear, you know, whatever makes you happy. So definitely keep watching, definitely subscribe and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever and definitely leave some comments down below because I love reading through them. So if you're interested in seeing some of my plus size, so if you're interested in seeing some of my plus size outfits, definitely keep on watching guys. Okay, so the very first outfit I'm going to show you is something that I would wear if we were just fishing like in the back bay and not going into the actual ocean itself. Like if we were just gonna catch some little flounders in the back bay, whatever we were gonna do, and then go to a restaurant right after. I wouldn't necessarily wear like a full face of makeup, obviously. I mean, I have before to take pictures on the boat, things like that, but I don't always wear makeup like this. Um, I might wear a little mascara, but this outfit is if I knew I was gonna go to lunch right after we were done fishing and I needed something to wear, not necessarily my bathing suit, but you know, you can, a lot of these restaurants don't mind, but if I wasn't gonna go back, if we weren't going into the actual ocean, this is what I would wear. Um, I might wear this for walking on the beach if we were going for sea glass, because I, something about me is I love collecting sea glass. It's one of my favorite things. I have a little tiny collection because it's not as easy as you think finding them. So I'm gonna show you accessories, what kind of a hat I would wear. I always, always wear a hat on the ocean or at the beach, the lake, wherever I am because we do have a lake right down the street from us. I always wear a hat to protect my face. So obviously I would wear my hair up because it's annoying being on a boat when your hair's down. Um, I do have little hoop earrings in, but I doubt I'd wear it. So I thrifted this top last year or the year before i think i got it for like eight dollars it's very loud it's very obnoxious you can find most of these kinds of men's shirts i'm pretty sure this is a men's shirt um you can find these pretty much at any type of like touristy shops you can find these loud obnoxious shirts i love it i know this isn't for everyone i think it's a lot of fun sometimes i'll wear this right over my bathing suit and wear it to the beach I just paired it with these really cute jeans that I got from Target and my extra tough um, little boat sneakers. Now these aren't Spearies, these are the brand Extra Tough. They look very, very similar. They're just a women's seven and a half. They are kind of pricey, but they're definitely worth it. And you can wear them on the boat without scuffing the deck or anything. So, um, but it's, they're blue and gray. They are definitely worn in. I wear, I have been wearing these for the last three years. They're a lot of fun, cute, very comfortable, light. They don't make your feet sweat when you're out in the heat. And I love these and they're great for walking. So I thought this outfit was really fun for vacation. My husband doesn't love this top. He kind of thinks it's a little loud and goofy and kind of like what your grandfather would wear. But I think that's why I was so attracted to it. So right here if i was going to be out on the boat i would wear a visor these are my favorite but now you need to be careful because your head will burn because there is no top protection but i love these visors i think they look really cute they're great i'm not gonna put it, there you go um and you can wear your hair up out of your face these are perfect and your hair is not on the back of your neck now this visor i think i got from tj maxx it was really inexpensive it was literally just a black visor for like 
$7.99. But what I love about like TJ Maxx and Marshalls is that you can get visors like Nike or Adidas for super, super inexpensive, like $10. I highly recommend visors. I love them a lot. Now for sunglasses, I have like four or five pairs that I can wear over my actual lenses. Now, I know I could go get prescription sunglasses. I've had them in the past. I'm very nitpicky, but I usually just try on glasses that fit over my actual glasses themselves. And I have this really cute pair. I don't care if people can see them underneath. I love these. They're little heart glasses. They're so cute. I got these at TJ Maxx for $9.99. And I just think this is a real fun, boat appropriate outfit and perfect for a vacation. So I know it's not for everybody, but again, this was thrifted, but you can find these everywhere at your local like touristy shops. Um, these were from Target and I got these for 12 bucks, but I guess it was kind of like a clearance at the end of the summer sale. And my shoes are from just a, one of the boating stores we have down here, one of like the places that sell like uh, boat clothes and for the fishermen. And again, these are like extra tufts. Now we have quite a bit of stores that cater to fishermen because we do live so close to the water, but you could probably find these in a catalog or online or anywhere. And you can definitely find Spearies anywhere, but these are the extra tough brand and I really love them. So on to the next outfit. Okay, so the next outfit I have on is definitely not gonna be for everyone. Um, this would be something I would wear on the beach in the evening if we were just kind of taking a walk or if we were, like I said, looking for shells or sea glass. Um, I have this great hat that I got from TJ Maxx last year. It's just a visor with a big brim. It's like a floppy hat, but it's a visor. I wear this often. I love it so, so much. Now this I also have thrifted. It's very loud and obnoxious. It's not something I would wear, you know, normally unless I was on a beach vacation. So this is great for the evenings when you just need something cool, but still sometimes if it's a little chilly with the uh, wind or anything, this is perfect. And I just paired it again with my little sneakers, but you could definitely do sandals. This would even be good for like an evening at dinner. Um, it's not too dressed up, it's not too dressed down. These are really fun. It's just a one piece bodysuit with pockets and it has little blue palm trees. You can see it's very worn and loved in, really worn and loved. I got this from a thrift store for about 10 bucks. Not like for everybody, but it's still fun for vacationing, especially by the beach. You could wear this as a beach cover up. You could pretty much do all kinds of things, dress it up, dress it down. And this hat is just super cute. And I would just throw on some sunglasses and this would be a great af after, this would be a great evening um, outfit. So I will be on to the next one. Now this outfit is very casual. This is something I would wear maybe to the boardwalk if we're gonna be running around a lot and it's gonna be warm. Um, I got this floral tank top from, I believe for actually from Ross and I think I only paid like $7.99 for it. It's really comfortable, it's soft. I don't often wear tank tops, but it's really, really hot and it's 90 degrees and what can you do? And I paired them with these cute little floral shorts they are a little short and i haven't been really wearing anything quite like this this summer most of it has been biker shorts but i thought this looked really cute together and something i'm going to pack as an option i know a lot of people wouldn't wear the two prints together but i'm a very tacky person so i know a lot of people wouldn't wear these two together but i am extremely tacky and i do whatever I I want to make me happy and I think I want to project that with my channel to like who cares if it matches or if not everybody would wear it and if you love it then wear it whatever you know what I mean so this outfit is not for everyone I'd probably pair it with these little sneakers again I definitely have other shoe options I could wear flip-flops sandals whatever I wanted and then I have these really nice big Jessica Simpson, I believe they're Jessica Simpson. I got them from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They have the best options. These are my everyday sunglasses. They are nice and big, they cover my face. So when I wear a big floppy hat and then I cover most of my face, I am really protected from the sun. So yeah, I know this outfit wouldn't be for everyone and people would probably pair it with more like a solid top or a solid bottom, but not me. I am pairing both of these florals together. So again, not for everyone, but it's for me, you guys. So on to the next outfit for you. So the next outfit I'm pairing together is this really versatile top. 
It's asymmetric. It's longer on one side, shorter on the other. I believe I got this from Walmart last year, the year before, but you can find tops like these pretty much anywhere. They're just very light, airy tops. Now, what I love to do with these is if I'm running around on the beach with the kids, I'll throw my top on so I don't get sunburnt. It's really comfortable and cool for the summer. It's just a short sleeve top. I love it. I love the gray and the white together. Um, and I just paired them with a pair of black biker shorts that I got really inexpensive at Boohoo. I think I paid under $7 for these. And then I just paired them with these really cute graphic um, design vans. These are unisex in my opinion. I think all vans are kind of unisex. I think anybody can wear them. Anyone can rock them. They're super duper cute. These were probably a men's, but again, anyone can wear them. My husband got them from the Vans outlet. I think they look really fun and festive and cool. Very summer appropriate. This whole outfit is kind of summer appropriate. This is fun for just running around if we're at a park walking. Um, again, you could wear this on the beach in the evening, to the boardwalk, anywhere you're going. If you want to throw this over your bathing suit. I love wearing biker shorts over my bathing suit. This is just a fun, easy, cool outfit, especially if you're a plus size woman and you need something to kind of cover up. I recommend these like light, cottony, just comfy, stretchy shirts to throw over your swimsuit, whatever makes you comfortable. And I just think this outfit is a lot of fun. Again, these vans are so cute and I love them a lot and they're very, very comfortable. So this is definitely one of my easy go outfits for this week. I'm going to be very comfortable in it perfect for this vacation. Next dress I have on is what I actually wear as my beach cover-up. Um, I have a video of all the bathing suits that I've been wearing and rotating out this summer, so I will definitely link that down below if you would love to see it. Um, they are great plus-size bathing suits. Um, I don't wear bikinis, just a personal preference. I don't care what anybody wears, but I just personally prefer a two-piece that covers and is completely ruffled the whole way around. So this is my beach dress. This is the dress I wear every time I go to the beach. It has these great big pockets. Um, I don't know where this is from. I believe I actually thrifted this dress. I got very lucky about four years ago and found this, I believe, at a thrift store for 10 bucks. What I loved about it, it has this little thing in the front, like a kangaroo pouch almost, it reminds me of. It kind of covers the tummy, um, especially because I have ruffles under my dress, or under, especially because I wear ruffles as a bathing suit, sometimes it can look funny. It's this really pretty thick strapped, like just ocean blue, and it has these great big pockets. So if I'm carrying anything, my cell phone, um, seashells, anything the kids wanna collect. But I thought I would just share what my actual beach cover up looks like. I love this dress so very much. It's super comfortable. Obviously I wouldn't be wearing a bra, I'd be wearing my bathing suit, but I think this uh, dress is really appropriate and fun. For the beach, um, the last pair of sunglasses I have to show you are the, my newest pair that I got this year. They're just like this tortoise shell to top. They are the brand Steve Madden. I bought these super, super inexpensive. I think they were roughly $9.99. I believe these were only $9.99 from TJ Maxx. I get all my sunglasses, like I said, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They have the best sunglasses and these look so cute. And look how easy they fit over my glasses so comfortable i never worry about it and i love this like slight cat eye it kind of looks very 1950s so this is what i would look like on the beach just hanging out if you ever see me there i am sitting on the beach or if you ever wondered this is the dress i love to wear i don't wear it the whole time but sometimes it gets so so hot and you kind of need something just to cover up a little bit from the sun um i try not to do too too much sun exposure but this is the dress that i love to wear on the beach so Let's get on to the next few outfits. I have something for the evening, like if I was going out to dinner with my husband, and then I have what I call my mom dress. My kids like to laugh and say it's like your typical mom dress. So on to the next two. Just one thing I wanted to say before I move on. I am a mom on a budget. I am running a household. I just bought a new home. I have a daughter. I have my sister that I am raising and my other sister that is going into the Marines. Ooh, I'm so excited for her. But I have been raising my sister since I was 27. So I had to learn to thrift and budget. And I know some of my outfits are not for everybody. And you might not have these exact things in your closet. But what I want to do is just inspire you to maybe pull things out, to look at your thrift stores, to wear whatever you want, guys. That's all I wanted to say in case someone's like, ooh, these outfits are like kind of goofy. 
I know. They're just for fun. This video is just for fun. This is just what I'm going to wear with my family. And I just really wanted to share with you guys. So on to the next one. And I have like two or three more outfits that I want to show you guys. Okay, so this wouldn't be a vacation if I didn't have the mom maxi dress. Every mom has one of these in her closet. Well, not every mom, but most moms have one of these in their closet. They're geometric pattern with the black top. They're maxi dress that every mom wears. It's just too versatile. It's easy to throw on. It looks great with everything. This dress is amazing. I would pair it with just my big sunglasses. This is gonna definitely be one of my staple pieces. I'll probably end up wearing this twice on my vacation. This is my dress that I put on when I'm just uncomfortable. Um, super duper hot. It's actually really nice material. It's not too hot when I know I got to run errands or when I have to stop for lunch somewhere, whatever I have to do. This is my dress that I just throw on because it's easy. I know it looks good. It's comfortable. I can throw a jean jacket over it if I needed to. Whatever I need to do with this dress, it's very versatile. It goes with everything. And then, you know, you carry your big mom purse. This is why my kids make fun of me. They say this is definitely your mom dress. It's a lot of fun. It's a little loud, but it's definitely summer appropriate. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite, most worn um, dresses. As you can see, it's just super worn and soft. I love it. And what I would do is just throw on my little extra tough sneakers. They go perfect with this. You could wear your sandals, which I wear nine times out of ten. I throw on my sandals with it and I am good to go. This is one of my favorites and I will definitely be wearing it probably twice on vacation and I have no shame in my game. So this is just a lot of fun. It's super long. It's to believe it or not, it's not that hot. I know some of these dresses can be very overwhelming and hot. I know a lot of these dresses can be super duper hot, but this one's great. Again, thrifted. I think I paid $3, $5, something so inexpensive for this. Your thrift stores are like, if you're on a budget, they're amazing. Um, I didn't quite realize how much of my clothes were thrifted, but I am so happy with it. I love this dress and it's so perfect for a beach vacation. So I have either one or two more outfits I want to show you and then we will be done. So this dress is a dress that I'm going to wear when my husband and I kind of go out on a date. It's either going to be this one or the last outfit that I'm going to show you. Um, we like to take at least like one date night. We try to do it at least once a month. I know to some people that might not be enough and some people that might, they don't even get that much. But when my husband was working in New York City and I didn't see him but three days a week, we were going out on date nights once a week. Now that he's back home working, um, we don't go out as often. We should try to make it a priority, but we are definitely gonna make it a priority this week coming to definitely go out to a nice restaurant together. Um, and this is what I'm going to wear. This dress is so much fun and festive. This is the dress that I got in my Boohoo haul. It's this gorgeous navy. And then it goes into white and this fun yellow. These tear dresses are so flattering on anyone. I feel like they cover the tummy. Um, they're not too matronly. They're not like... Some of them look like Little House on the Prairie, which I personally love. But some can be like, oh, you're down in like Cancun, Mexico, dancing on the beach. Um... That's what this reminds me of. This is from Shein. I got it for under $20. It just reminds me of like dancing on the beach all night long, right by the water. It just is such a fun and festive dress. I know some people might not feel that way, but it's just so, so much fun. Like, could you imagine? It's just like flowy and fun. And then I paired it with these cute little black heels that I got from Boohoo. Um, these are perfect. These are the most perfect, comfortable heels. They have like a maybe a two and a half inch, three inch heel, but they're square. So they are super duper comfortable. They look great on the feet. They slim out your feet. They look super sexy and fun. And I think they just look so appropriate with this dress. Tell me this isn't like the perfect, I'm going out on the town to dance with your husband all night. This dress is it. I love this style. I love these colors together. They're so unique, yellow and navy. I just think they look so perfect, so festive. With your hair up even, you could wear your hair down with curls. But I kind of love it with the hair up. It just kind of gives it a very relaxed vibe. And I just think this is super fun and appropriate for vacation. So this is definitely a winner in my book. 100% going to be wearing this. Um, again, super inexpensive. This whole outfit is under $40. This was like, I don't know, 20 bucks, And the shoes were only $20. Um, really really inexpensive and perfect i just love these sandals i think they are so very cute so yeah 
one more outfit and I am done. Okay, so the okay, so the very last dress I wanted to show you and outfit was this completely summer appropriate dress. It is so gorgeous. So it's this like yellow mustardy color with these gorgeous pink and red um flowers. It has like um it's not completely cinched at the bust, but kind of it kind of gives the appearance of a like a skater dress or a baby doll dress and it just flows down it hits right at the knee this dress i got literally for 10.99 at ross this dress is so gorgeous i love this like little bit of a swoop neck it doesn't reveal too much but it's still a little sexy um i believe you can see the back the back crisscrosses and hits you perfectly like right in the middle of your back it doesn't show your bra at all this dress is just so gorgeous, and I just paired it again with these beautiful black boohoo um, sandals. These can go with anything. These can be worn for a wedding if you wanted to, and you need to be comfortable for dancing all night. They, What I loved about these, you guys, was that the ankle strap, like, really fit. Like, there's extra room. I know sometimes with women that have, like, a little more of a thicker ankle, sometimes these shoes can be, like, super uncomfortable and tight. But I'm on, like, the fifth um little hole for it and I could probably go one um tighter if I really needed to but that's what I love these fit perfectly and I don't really have trouble with shoes but sometimes I can't fit around my damn ankle or calf and these fit really good but this dress I mean come on do you get any more summer than this let me throw on my sunglasses so say I wanted to pair these with my little heart sunglasses and go out to like a dinner on the water i mean come on how perfect is this or like dancing or going out and just going to dinner with your husband i mean do you get more summer appropriate than this i don't think so i think this dress is so perfect i mean what would this haul be with if i didn't have a dress on um i live in dresses so i think this dress is super pretty it's not quite off the shoulder but it like just sits so beautiful on the neckline if you had a little pretty dainty necklace and some hoops um, your hair down, up, whatever you want to do. This dress is so much fun, super duper summer appropriate, super vacation appropriate, and just super sexy and pretty. And I would not discount Ross. Sometimes the dresses at Ross are so beautiful and they have a lot of options for plus size women in their dressing. They go up to, I believe, a 22 or 26, I'm not positive, but I love this. And this dress was a 1X. So yeah. That is the very last dress and I will get right back to you guys to finish this video up. Okay, so I wanted to wrap up the video. I'm still in my dress from the last little bit. Um, I just wanted to say thank you all for watching. I hope you got some inspirational um, outfit ideas from this. If you're going on a little vacation to end your summer, I hope you enjoy it. If you're staying home, I hope you enjoy it and make it a vacation from home. You know, take a weekend and just relax and enjoy yourself. Um, life's too short not to really have fun. So I hope these outfits gave you some really, really good inspiration. If you're having a bad day, I hope this helps you, my love, and I hope you maybe have a better one tomorrow. I hope you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely give me a thumbs up, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, my loves.